Okay, I guess so. <clears throat> it's March 2nd, 2009 at approximately 3 p.m. March 2nd, incidentally, is Texas Independence Day. It's the day that Texas declared its independence from Mexico in 1830 city, 1836 after the Battle of San Jacinto on April 21st, 1836. We're sitting here today with several people that grew up in the St. Louis, Missouri area. Sir, would you please state your full name? <laughs> Thanks, Bunny. That was, that was, who was that guy? Mel LeBlanc? Mel LeBlanc. LeBlanc that used to do Bugs Bunny? Mel Blanc, uh -huh. Mel Blanc, that's it. He was one of your favorites. So your full name is William no, it's Jefferson Bill. It's Clinton Houston? No, it's Bill. Bill? Your first name isn't William? First name is Bill, B-I-L-L. -L. Middle name? L. Four? Lee. Lee, L-E-E? -E. That's my middle name. What a coincidence. That's my middle name, too. Isn't that something? That is something. I think my wife has something to do with that. That's right. And then your last name is Houston. All right. Like the city. Okay. And what's your date of birth? 10, 22, 29. 29. All right. And uh, you live in St. Charles, Missouri now? Bueno. Bueno. And what, what part of St. Louis were you, or in what part of St. Louis did your family live when you were born? What area? Oh, what do you call that, Sam? Quick. Wellston, for one thing. Yeah. Wellston High School. And, uh, we were born uh, near, let's see, Petrol Avenue and what's the other closest one, Bill? Next street over to, from Petzl. I can't think of a street. Suburban. <laughs> Suburban. I've heard you mention Etzel Avenue. Was your house on Etzel Avenue? Yeah. And that was the house you were, in which you were born? No, basically, no. No? Raised. Raised? Raised. Raised. Were you born okay. in a hospital or in a house? I think I was born in a house. A manger. <laughs> <laughs> was it around Christmas? Oh, yours was. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> There's some guy <laughs> beat me to it. <laughs> so your your older brother, Uncle Bill, Sam, who's sitting to your right, was born on December twenty second? Correct. Nineteen twenty six. So that would make him three years older than you? Do you do you have or can you remember your first recollection? Or what is your first recollection of your older brother? Do you remember what that first memory was? <laughs> I used to beat him up boxing, though, later on. I don't know. You know, I saw that, that clip, and I wasn't sure who won that clip. I don't know how old you were. You, Bill looks like he was about four. Maybe he was five. He must have been at least five. So that would make you eight. But he was coming at you. Oh, yeah. He was like I, a windmill, man. He, the punches were coming. Oh, I thought they were older. I thought they were more like 10 or 11, for, for at oh, least maybe Sam was. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. So... Of course, every, every little brother, I was a little brother, every little brother, you know, you look up to your older brother, but then you, there's some point where you think you can take him. Did you ever have that thought? Did you ever have that thought where you think, I can take him? Yeah, particularly about Paul. I think Sam and I both wanted to be Paul up, didn't we? we sure did. That was your oldest brother, and about yeah. how many years older oh, was gosh, he? Quite a bit. Like he was like 10 years 10 older, 10 or 15 wasn't he? years older? at him whacking you across the back of the head. So he'd, he'd, he'd smack both of y'all? Yeah, he'd, like, he'd catch us at the top of the stairs. He'd chase us up the stairs and then slap us in the face. Wow. For doing what? Well, Being we, kids? Making noises, Bill. I don't know what we did, basically. Being kids. Huh. Did you ever, did you ever uh, mention something to Uncle, Uncle Paul later in life and say, you know, you... You SOB or you? <laughs> or did you just let it lie? Oh, I just kind of let it lie. <laughs> and then Aunt Mary Jane was three years older than you, Papa Sam. Right. So she was six years, so she was really kind of like a 
she was six years older than you, Uncle Bill, so she was kind of not really a mother figure, but almost. Did she mother you, or did she big sister you? She big sistered us. Oh, did she? Sam and I both. Did she tell you to get lost? No, not too much. Do you remember? Uh, <coughs> do you remember when she started running around with that neighbor guy, Joe Moy? With who? Joe Moy. Oh, Joe Moy. I thought she said Joe Moore. No. I thought, who's he? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you, what's your first recollection of Joe Moy? No, oh, I thought it was a nice looking guy. And about how old was he, he you think? He looked like uh, Tyrone Power. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He was a handsome guy. I think that there's a, on that DVD, there's some pictures of Mary Jane and Joe sitting on the porch yeah. on the home movies. Have you seen it? Uh huh. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So that, he was around when y'all were probably still in middle school. I didn't realize they'd known each other that long. Mm -hmm. And wh how did he treat you, treat you boys? He treated me okay, I don't know. Sam will have to answer his, his own. Well, we used to say, if he gets out of the line, we're gonna bust him, in, bust him upside the head. <laughs> yeah? That was Jen's expression though, wasn't it? Yeah. Bust him upside the head. <laughs> yeah. So, the other thing I remember is a uh, newspaper article about the the Houston family being a big football family. And who was the best football player in the family besides you? Claire, you probably. Claire? And, and, of course, we talked earlier, he played football for University of Missouri, yeah. as did Ken. Yeah. And who do you think was, was, was Claire the best athlete? Well, <clears throat> I think so, yeah. Okay. Who's the, who's the best looking of all the brothers besides you? Well, that's it, me. You were the only <laughs> one that had any looks? <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly got a, a, a pretty woman, pretty wife, so, but we don't know if that's because you're such a charmer or if she thought you were handsome. Right. <laughs> Where are you going? They're not finished. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Oh. Are you still at some more? Okay, should we? Should we? Snacks all the time. Let's go to Papa Sam. Okay. Okay, you ready, Papa Sam? I'm going to ask you some of the same questions. What did you think of uh, Joe Moy? How did he treat you guys, you, you little brothers? Well, we made some jokes about when Mary Jane, uh, you know, met this young man. We're going to bring him home for the first time. We said, well, if he gets out of line, we're going to beat the heck out of him. <laughs> well, you had, let's see, how many brothers you had? Seven, seven, seven brothers and only one sister. Right. So she was kind of a princess, wasn't she, or was she? What was, she, what was her position in the family? What was her dynamic as a as the only girl? Yeah. I mean, was she a tomboy or was she a princess or little of both or what was she? I don't know what she could. Yeah. We, uh, of course, we always, I always look back and counted the number of children that mom and dad finally brought into the world, and there was a number more that that passed away, you know. Mm -hmm. Two sets of twins, at least. She had about 17 children altogether. Wow. Wow. 16 childbirths. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And no, no hospital, no doctor. No anesthesia? No doctor. Midwives. Midwives. Wow, that's tough. That is tough. So you were born at home? Yeah, we were. Yeah, I guess we were, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever realized that. Yeah, they had midwives. Different than it is today. Well, I know some women that do natural childbirth, but I couldn't have I been one of them. what midwives do. They get you to calm down and breathe they don't through the pain. Do mm -mm. Now, Papa Sam, do you remember how much older Harry was than... Aunt Mary Jane? He was he was three years older than Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. So in three years, you know. Now, do you remember them interacting much? Did they get along, Harry and Aunt Mary Jane? Did they? Yeah, well, uh, Harry went off to uh, war about the time uh, 
we got out of high school, I think. Okay, because if he's six years older than you, and you graduated in 45, so if he... Like when he was 17. If he was 18 so. and he went off to war, then, I mean, you would have been 12 years old. And Bill would have been nine if he if he went into the service at 18. Yeah, well, he was uh, he was with the National Guard and went up to Alaska, you know, early on. And that might have been so, before the war because yeah, you were was. you turned 18 in 45, or in probably 1944, December 44. So in 45, you probably got you, that's probably when you were drafted. Right. And so he probably went into the service. Before World War One start or World War Two started? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So, but do you, do you golly, so if you were twelve, you probably don't remember much interaction between. Well, when you were twelve is when your dad was killed in the. No, he was seventeen. Were you seventeen when your dad passed away? Mm -hmm. And you were were you fourteen? Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. And it was a was it a trolley accident or train accident? No, he died in a hospital. But what was the accident that? Well, he was in. A, he was hit by a streetcar year before that, though, wasn't it? Early, yeah. before that. Yeah, that had nothing to do with the his death at that time. Oh, you're kidding! No, mm -hmm. he had a heart attack. Didn't he? No, I, I can't I remember what right. it really was. I thought it was um, hardening of the artery. That's what it was. That's what he died of, hardening of the artery. Was he eating a lot of fried foods, or was it genetic? You know, even brain sandwiches for lunch was his favorite. Brain? Really? Cow brain? Yeah. Wow. Did they sell that in the stores? Yeah. So you can imagine what the cholesterol was. He ate one of those, I think, every night, didn't he, Mom? Or Mom in here. Hey, Mom, did you remember? <laughs> wow. Yeah, he did eat a lot of brain sandwiches. I remember that. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah. I didn't even pigs, know they sold them. Pig's brain, yeah. Oh, was it pig I brain? I don't know what no. kind of brain they were, but my dad used to eat them. Wow. They fry them, or how would they yeah, cook they them? Fry them up with They're probably pretty good, you know. I mean, if you could get over the thought of it. Everything's good fried. That's right. You know? Okay, so... I, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I, I thought your dad was hit by a trolley, and like died instantly. Yeah. And, the, but that had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Hardy, died in a hospital of hardening of the artery. So how much? Oh, he died of disease. And I was working at Wagner Electric at the time, and I came home. You know, they they called me over to the plant and said. I better go home, and I got the news at home and said your father's passed away, and that's, I think I saw him in the hospital one time, mm. and I remember to, to this day, I, I walked in there, and his legs were so swollen, I couldn't believe that anybody's legs and ankles were so big, because, you know, there's no uh, circulation down there, and they just sw were swollen so badly. Mm. So that's what he died of, hardening of the arteries. Wow. Wow. So that was Wagner Electric, 17. You turned 18 in December. And did you did you graduate when you were 17 from high school? So were you out of high school right. when you turned 18? And then you got probably got your draft notice. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So off you went to training. And then you probably got a draft notice. Did you get a like an exclusion or something from the draft? Oh, they just didn't want me. <laughs> too big, you're too, too much of a target. Wasn't it the National Guard, Bill? Yeah, it was the National Guard. But I ended up joining it to keep from being shipped to another place. I wanted to go back and play football in Missoula that year. And we, you were able to do that? Yeah. Good. So then, where did you, Uncle Bill, where did you, where and when did you meet Shirley? Aunt oh, that Shirley. was after I was out of college. Was that in St. Louis? Yeah. And can you tell us the story of how the first time you met her? I don't know. I should probably tell you that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 not, I'm not in this movie. Oh. <laughs> but you got to fill in the facts. 
There were lots of facts. You were around. playing with the Knights. No. You played with the St. Louis Knights at that time, though. Yeah. Playing football? And yeah. did you go to a game or did somebody say, hey? With a friend. You went and saw him play? No, it was a wife of another player. T tell me the interesting, cause this, so this is a semi pro football team, correct? Right. Describe their uniforms. You, have you ever watched? Do you ever watch the NFL today? You know they wear these. These they're like fiberglass or epoxy helmets now, and they've got they've got remember. the face guard and they've got what what kind of do you remember what I kind? I remember that. I knew okay. nothing about football. All right. Nothing. So when did did you see? Him? Was he wearing a helmet? Do you remember that when you saw him play? Do you remember if he was wearing a helmet? Well, yeah, I definitely. Know. So you didn't really see what he looked like. Well, I don't think they had face guards back then, did they? When no. they, yeah. They weren't much. They started out with one bar, correct? Yeah. They started out with one single bar, and then they got the two bar, <coughs> was later on. So to win, and Shirley, real quick, just and I, I'll get the camera off you in a second. But when did the first? When was the first time you remember seeing Uncle Bill? Well, I guess the first time I went to practice. Oh, so you actually went to a practice? Yes. All right. And were you going to see him in particular? Or were you just kind of going no. to see the guy, see this semi-pro team? No, I was just going with my friend whose husband was playing. That guy looks pretty cute or handsome or something. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were so many of them. <laughs> I wasn't introduced to him at that time. And you got introduced later? Yeah. Good. And here's Joe. Joe's coming back from a hard day at the, at the office. Get taken off his tie. Okay. I see it's got a hook on there. I see it. Let me go over here. This is awkward. Why are you making this? How, you got, how come you got blood on both sides of your shirt? I think that's this sauce. That looks like steak it's sauce. Fully, fully, fully <laughs> sauce? Yeah, fully. <laughs> One way we figured out what he does, he puts his hand like this. Oh, yeah. I was doing a certain chore. I always remember Sally. You know, Sally Houston. Uh huh. She last time we went to have lunch with Janet, we were just sitting there and she kinda of leaned over and she said, Bill, said, what attracted you to Shirley. What what? What attracted what attracted me to Shirley? And I said she had a fine butt and legs. <laughs> uh, and that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> so we don't want to put you on the spot and see if that was the same attraction you had to the up there. No, you wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for okay, Uncle Bill, first date. What did you do? What was the first thing you did with Aunt Shirley? That was the second thing. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you when you met Aunt Shirley? Do you remember? Oh, I was seventeen or eighteen. Oh, you were out of college, right? So it must have been twenty three, twenty four. Probably. I don't know exactly. It might have been. So, Charlie, you were born in what, 36, 30, 41? 34. 34. Oh, 34. Mm -hmm. Youngster. A youngster. <laughs> <laughs> Which ends our interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Okay, I'll stop. Is that enough for now? Is that enough? <laughs> What, you were greasing the track so they couldn't See, I hear move that the stuff, cars? And I hear about my son and his shenanigans, I think. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. 
Was it was it a train or a streetcar? Oh, streetcar. Street and they'd grease the wheels Looked on the tracks. Up to the electrical, you know, they had so the how'd they get up the hill then? What well, were you sitting over there on the side of the road laughing? Sit there and laugh. I thought that was funny. I don't know what ever happened to the car. <laughs> I, so it never got up the hill. It probably did. They probably came out and got a new greaser or something and took the grease off the track. And, you remember that, Bill? No, I don't remember that. Well, I guess I was a little older and I didn't miss, miss you in this thing. <laughs> were, you, were you doing things like that by yourself or with some friends? No, yeah, with friends. You know, we thought that was really funny. Teenagers. They're all alike. Oh yeah, they're all alike. They have never. Um, what do you want to do for. Are y'all getting hungry yet? Or is Joe, am I going to need to get something for Joe? Well, that would be fine. Yeah. I mean, I can get something for everybody, too. Sure if y'all want just a snack or... Still Texas Independence Day. And now we're at Jack and Carolyn's beautiful house in what neighborhood? Where are we? In De De it's not De Pere. What's no, Baldwin. In Baldwin. Baldwin, okay. Baldwin, Claymont subdivision. Claymont, we found... The one street is not in it. Okay, what does that do to your taxes? It ma does it make them lower or higher? Lower. Oh, goody. That's like Brad. Are you are you right? You're in the city of Austin, but you have lower taxes. No, I, I, I pay more taxes than anybody because, well, it's a long story. Because you're in Eanes School District? Right. Okay. And here we are, Papa Sam. Happy Texas Independence Day. Yay! <laughs> Okay, looks like we got good lighting here. Would you like to interview Uncle Jack? Okay, As a lawyer cliche, please state your full name for the record. <laughs> My full, full name? Press, full name. With all the epithets that we did Jackson Lee Sedwick Jr. In what year were you born? Oh. Or, no, your date of birth. How about your date of birth? How about March 14th, 1930? Right. March 14th is coming up. And what, what was what was your where was your place of birth, or what is your place of birth? Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And you've been married for how many years? Almost 50. And okay, now the questions get harder. You got to answer these quickly. <laughs> Let's see how quick your mind is. Okay. What's your wife's birthday? It is the 18th of November. And when is your anniversary? Oh. The 19th of September. Good job. Good job. So no wonder you've been married how many years? It'll be 50 this year. 50. Well, that's how you made it. You remember those two dates. That's probably helpful. Yeah. <laughs> and are you teaching school anymore? Not anymore. And we're totally was, useless for the past decade. Use, useless? Correct. Where was the last institution at which you taught? Uh, so